Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to teach you about extracting from timestamp. What is extract? Why we require to extract our required parameters from the timestamp? You see here for more information. This session especially designed for the extract built-in method only. Sometimes as the customization of this timestamp, completely we need not to require to print complete timestamp over there. Why? Like some of the educational institutions, like you see here, academic year they will send. How they will follow like a 2022, 21, they require only C. What else? 2021. Like this, this is the pattern they want to print. Instead of complete timestamp, why they require to see for day to time and year and a minute and second, all the things. If they require only this year from the 2022, 2021, only they require. They will see this is only the output they will require. That's it. For the label that they want to require, like academic year, that's it. Similarly, some economic years, like a financial year also, we can specify that. From It will be May start March, uh, April 1st, April to March 30th, till this is the financial year transactions they may do. Such a situation, how we need to do, like a, from the time span, there is an a predefined keywords are all ready-madely available in MySQL. We'll go to see about extract. How we are going to be extracting the required parameters from the out of the bunch. How it is. It's a very simple and a very easiest method to applying for this. That is an extract function predefined. This extract, this extract function will require two arguments. The two arguments we need to like uh, making is a notation of uh, two arguments how we are going to be passing. That you know, you know that uh, one and two how it is means. First argument is like extracting year or month or day. The requirement what we require when uh, exact what we require from the out of the bunch of date time string. That is, we are specifying in extract that will comes under first part. And the second part, what we will say that how we are fetching the records and the data rows from the table by calling from table name. Similarly, here we will give will give from timestamp and specifying the column name or uh, that. Uh, pattern of the date time step. So simply I'll explain you in real time concept how it is going to be forming. Uh, we'll see here. Like uh, simply I'm preparing here using in a select statement itself. Like uh, write the select extract of what I'm required first I'm writing simply year from time from year, year from timestamp. What is the timestamp it is going to be preparing and following? Our previous lecture we have inserted one data record, which is a, which are the, this is the date time it is prepared by timestamp itself. We have seen. If not, if you you not seen this lecture, go through our previous lecture only. How the date timestamp it is creating and generating all the complete details with this chart involved in this session, go to it. Now let's come back here and take the copy of this uh, column date time and paste over here. That's it. This is the date time here I have pasted and the statement now see simply statement is framed, select, extract year only from where the timestamp, the timestamp format it is, this is the format of timestamp. Now execute this query statement by pressing go. Now let's see here what's happened. Yes, complete title it is coming. Now what I am instead of making all the title name, I'm making is an alias name, it is a year. That's it. 
If you require, you make it as in a semicolon or else if it is in a single statement only, it will execute. So anyhow, now see here, year only 2020, it is came from out of bunch. Just simply see. It's really great, you know. If you want the year only, as simple from the date time stamp, instead of using all the data like month, year, day, time, minutes, seconds, you ignore all the things, use the extract function, and by passing the two methods, like a two argument parameters, like what is the requirement, and frame, uh, from where it should be get the data, actually what you require. You specify these two and fetch ready made link. The functionality is available. Similarly, we'll see more examples like by using year, what I'm doing here, month I'm specifying here, and as an alias name, specify here, month. That's it. Go here. Now let's see here, it's in a month is five only as an output. How pretty it is easy. See here, instead of month, I'm using day. As there's two things I'm changing. I'm changing the requirement and alias name I'm changing. And now let's see. As you were wish to make it as a name and all the output columns. Now it is on a 14th day. Will it true? See here, this is the 14th. I didn't written any pretty code and logic over here. Just the simple common sense I'm using. If we know extract how we need to do it. That's almost over. And similarly, uh, instead of using from the date, uh, in advanced, what I'm going to do here, like, uh, see, here it is in a date format, also it is there, like, uh, how I am mentioning, just simply, just simply see here, you will get the hour. What is the hour? It is on 30. See how it is beautiful. Similarly, minutes, what you do? Minutes you specify, and uh, I am taking as a shortcut, min. Mint. Okay? Mint is in a cool mint. Cool. Something minutes or something. It's not a S. My new that's it. It's a mistake of my typo mistake. Check it. What exactly what we need to write? And you don't panic it. You are executing in a local system. We are practicing. It's required more and more. You just write in a second. Like as in a SEC I'm mentioning here. Like in a shortcut of second. Like alias name, anything you can write. Now see seconds is in a 56. Sorry, 55. From the query statement, what I have mentioned here, it's in a 55 only. What you have written, it is a query statement is successfully, it is an absolutely true. You will get accurate data. There is a no more doubt at all. All right. Hopefully, you got in a good idea about how to extract from the given timestamp zone in the column. You will get it in a standardization of the format and you can construct as your required date format of your uh, like uh, showing of the presentation of the date format. You can see here by extracting like this. This is in a US standardization of the date time format. Some countries may change this date time format. As you would wish to change all the things here itself, like making it an alias, and constructing the alias statements over here and uh, fix the date time format as you would wish to show and uh, convert also you can use to convert the date times as we see in our lane, uh, next lessons whenever it occurs and uh, as much simply to extract the date times from these scenarios and many of there you have to do some extension of the extracting by identifying of the MySQL standardization libraries by visiting of the official site of MySQL, you will get more idea about it. Hopefully, you have a good idea about extract default methodology method and the function and its usage. Thanks for watching this session. Thank you.